this is how game looks like without frame generation and now boom this is how it looks like with frame, frame generation from 50 fps to 120 fps let's dive into it open your game and make sure you put it into borderless full screen or windowed mode then just switch back to your lossless scaling app 2.5.0 version minimum and we are not going to use the scaling or scaling type scaling mode or scaling type we are just going to focus on frame generation choose lsfg option here and make sure your clip cursor option is on secondary you also need to make sure you have draw fps on because it is the only thing that will let you know that your frame generation is working also you can use this app by an alternate hotkey which is control plus alt plus s and you also need to make sure it is ran as administrator just click the button and boom when you switch to the app it's gonna show you it's working see that counter over there the one shown by MSI Afterburner is the FPS your graphic card is getting and the one in the left which is gray color one is the one that is showing you your frame generated FPS. See the smoothness has increased quite a bit. And you do need to consider that in this video, this video is not going to justify 120 FPS right guys because this is being recorded in 60 fps so the actual amount of smoothness varies and is actually far far better than what you are going to see here one more thing is that if you are not getting the correct amount of fps and if you enable this software then you are saying going to see a lot of frame pacing issues so for that the developer have suggested that you use this software for half the amount of FPS logged. For that, you, we are going to use MSI Afterburner, Reaver Tuner. And in here, you need to put half of your FPS. Sorry, FPS, Nick. Hertz of your screen. For, for example, I am using 120 Hertz screen. I am putting 60 FPS. But now, as soon as I dip below 60 FPS, the frame pacing issue comes back. So for that, well, you need to lower down your settings so that you can maintain 60 FPS. Or you can also do one thing. You can go back to the Reba Tuner and put something that you are able to achieve easily. For example, in my case, I am going to achieve 50 fps easily while roaming and when in combat and something or some heavy thing is going i can achieve 45 fps see the frame pacing is now much better much much better now one thing i would like to draw your attention is many people are getting half the amount of fps when they use this mod it is because they are using full screen see for example, I am using this Dying Light game in full screen mode. And now let's try to use frame generation on this game. We are getting 60 FPS nearly. And see, nearly half. The frame pacing is also bad. Well, because we are using this particular software with the full screen game, which is not how it works, right? Let me show you if we unscale the game, then we will recover our FPS. See, 61 back. Now there is one more shortcut, Control plus Alt plus S. Even with that, we enable it, it's not going to work. Okay, so no shortcuts or no direct method, nothing works. You just need to go into your game and put it in either window full screen or window mode. 
now we are going to use windowed borderless mode now let's enable the frame generation with the control plus alt plus s key and now that you can see hud is here now you can see that 120 fps in gray number and now we have our frame generation on so please make sure you don't repeat this mistake many are doing the same and are trying to search answer in the forums but it's just a silly mistake that it is on our part right <coughs> one thing you can do again see the frame time graph is bad quite bad here now I can get 45 FPS very easily in this game so I'm going to lock the FPS and now the frame time graph is corrected now we can enable our frame generation remember you need to lock your FPS slightly below what you are getting with frame generation right for example I am getting about 50 FPS my actual FPS will get reduced when I enable the frame generation for example I was getting 60 FPS when I enable the frame generation my actual FPS gets reduced slightly and my VRAM consumption increase now here one more example where you are at the limit of VRAM consumption and if you enable the frame generation this is as ugly as it can get see you won't be getting increased FPS but you will be reducing it by four um, four times one thing here is to note that I was using it with the full screen error that we shouldn't be doing as per the developer rule <laughs> and see this particular software also need VRAM to work right see now the VRAM and the full screen these are the two mistakes that con can cost you heavily so don't make these make sure you have a spare VRAM to run this software and make sure you do not use it with the full screen one that's it for this video guys I hope you liked it I am going to make more such videos so stay tuned let me know your thoughts on this on the comment section and do subscribe to the channel and like the video it will help reach the video to those are seeking it